Greetings guys, it is Stokecraft. And today we're seeing something on the channel that I've been excited about for more than a year. It's of course the new HD maps. Two weeks ago when I saw the sandbox server was gonna go live, I was very, very excited. And now I finally got a chance to check them all out. The reason that I am so excited about these new HD maps is that, of course, World of Tanks is my number one favorite game. And I love to see the graphics of my number one favorite game improve. And I have a gaming setup far beyond what you would need to be able to play World of Tanks at maximum graphics. At least previously, because now that the graphics are updated, I actually now have an excuse to be able to say I've got this good of a setup to be able to play World of Tanks. When taking a look at these new HD maps, three things are most important. Number one, the look of the map. Number two, the gameplay on the map. And last but not least, and still very important, the performance of the HD map. This is what we're going to check out during this video. So strap yourselves in, get yourself comfortable, get something to eat, and let's get right into this. Well everyone, I think it is safe to say Wargaming didn't let us down on the looks. The game now just looks absolutely amazing. Wargaming, you did an excellent job. Outside from just updating all the textures to HD, Wargaming have added a lot of different features as well. For example, when shooting through a bush, the vegetation will actually move because of the pressure differences after the shot. And it looks absolutely stunning. Also, when driving through the water, a lot of realistic water effects appear. Outside from just getting cool water effects, you can also clean your tank now when you're driving through the water. For instance, when driving on a desert map or a sandy map, your tank gets all dusty. And by driving through the water, you can clean it right up. And when driving out of the water, your tank looks wet. Absolutely amazing stuff. Now that we've taken a look at the looks of the new HD maps, let me tell you a bit about the gameplay. I loved playing on these HD maps, not only because of the looks, but only because Wargaming have added new positions here and there. 
And also a lot of characteristic buildings or things have been put onto the maps. For instance, this map Red Shard that I'm playing on right now. Just a minute ago, you saw me look at the left where there was a huge crashed Zeppelin. And on that fact, you can go underneath the Zeppelin, you can fight it out there against the enemy. And the Zeppelin will stop shots. So you won't be able to destroy it. So this gives you extra opportunities to be able to get cover against artillery or against other enemy tanks. And because of the graphics update, the games and the maps just look a lot more realistic. It really doesn't feel like you're playing just on one map anymore. And that is because even though the map borders are still there, the map will go on beyond these map borders. Even though you can't cross these map borders with your tanks, it looks like the maps just go on forever. This gives the maps their realism and the feeling of not being locked in by map borders. I do still think a few things could be improved. There is no doubt that some of the positions that have been put into these maps are a bit overpowered. So Wargaming do need to take a good look at their maps once again and consider if these changes are going to be put into the final HD map. Also when playing these HD maps some of the normal screen features bugged a little bit. For instance in one of my first battles I pressed the tab key to take a look at the enemy team. But when I let go of the tab key the team's list did not disappear. So I had to restart the sandbox server and reload into the game and then everything was fine again. But these are just minor things. Overall for a sandbox test I am really impressed by what Wargaming have done so far. Last but not least I wanted to tell you guys something about the performance of these new HD maps. Before being able to play these HD maps on my real setup at home, I tried them out on my almost three year old gaming laptop. When putting the graphics up to ultra, I got around 40 to 35 FPS. Because I'm used to playing World of Tanks at around 120 FPS, I did feel it was lagging a little bit. But when I turned down the graphics to maximum, the frame rate increased till 60 frames per second. The graphics only decreased by a minor bit. And on my setup, yeah, well, <laughs> the performance is just really impressive. Constantly, I'm playing at above 100 to 120 FPS. In some maps, it even bumps up to 140 FPS. And all of this for ultra graphic settings. I also wanted to try what the FPS would be like when I turned down the graphics to minimum. But I saw I had to restart the sandbox client. And as I was in the middle of a game, I couldn't really do that. As a final conclusion, I want to say that I am in love with these new HD maps. And I can't wait until the maps will be put onto the live server. There is no information available about when these maps are going to hit the live server, unfortunately. Anyhow, at least we got a very good first look at these new HD maps. So everyone, that is pretty much the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I put the whole day of my precious weekend into it. So I would really appreciate you guys leaving some support. And also let me know what you guys think about these new HD maps. And that's it for today. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video as usual. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Guys, I will see each and every one of you in the next video. Bye.